Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How is you? How you be? This here is conservative Jake Mills coming at you again for another edition of my views, as always, from a conservative standpoint. <laughs> you know, if there was ever any doubt or question that old Sleepy Joe, President Biden, was in a mental decline, that's all gone. Because, <laughs> I mean, look, folks, I know a lot of you saw that video. Old Sleepy Joe finishing up his speech and then turning around, extending his hand of fellowship. <laughs> and it wasn't nobody there. Put his hand out, the shakes about his hand, and wasn't nobody behind him. And then after that, looking around, like, you know, when you got your old grandpa that ain't all there mentally. <laughs> We've all had family members like this. They start wandering around, look around, look to their left, look to their right, look all confused. Didn't know which way to go off the daggone stage. Last time I checked, old Joe, you come off, you go off the same way you went on. What the hell are you confused about? <laughs> I mean, look, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's dementia, Alzheimer's. I really don't know. I'm still tickled up about that whole business with the Easter Bunny last week. <laughs> I'm still tripping about that. You know, back when I was a youngin', if somebody extended their hand or went to say hello with a greeting, with a handshake or what have you, and uh, you didn't respond or nobody was there. We had a term for that back in the day. Talk about leaving you hanging. <laughs> you leaving me, you left me hanging, man. But the only thing is, in this sense, it wasn't nobody there that left hung. <laughs> you know, it's scary to think that this guy is in control of the nuclear codes. This guy is in charge of our military. This guy is supposed to be making decisions for families all across America. Scary. And y'all Dems had so much crap to say about President Donald Trump when he was in office. Every time I turn around, Trump doing this, Trump doing that, Trump doing it, but you know something? My gas prices wasn't as high as they is now. We wasn't at war like we is now. We weren't making enemies of Russia and trying to instigate conflict with Russia like we is now. Inflation wasn't sky high like it is now. Look at all the stuff and how this country has just turned for the worse since this administration has been in office. Now, I wasn't no Barack Obama fan by any stretch of the imagination, but hell, some people said that was the worst. No, this is the worst administration of all time. And who's in charge of it? Who's at the controls? An old 80-year-old man that doesn't know or understand that somebody ain't behind him and you just extend your hand to shake. Scary times we're living in, folks. <laughs> Scary times. All I can say is get out there and vote come November. In two years, 2024, you damn sure better vote again. Because this old ride here, you know, when you get on a scary ride and it's like a roller coaster at the end of it, get on off. Don't go back on there again. <laughs> Get on off that ride. Well, <laughs> that's about it for tonight. Take care of yourself, everybody, and each other. And I will see you when I see you.